name's Ed Harper and I'm one of the cello coaches for HYS um, and in this video I'm going to be giving a brief tutorial on how to prepare for excerpt B uh, which is from Sibelius's third symphony the first movement um, the first step always when preparing an excerpt is to go and listen to the piece and locate it in the score now in this case the excerpt occurs right at the beginning of the piece so that's useful for us um, the score is on IMSLP and there are tons of recordings on YouTube and Spotify. I'm sure you won't have a problem finding it, but make sure you don't skip that step because the adjudicator can always tell. So this excerpt is in two very clear sections. We have the first um, melodic legato sustained melody that we have to play for the first 14 measures. And then after that, we move to a 16th note bit of passage work. Um, starting with the melody, uh, if you listen to it, you'll find out that the violins and the violas have this very steady uh, eighth note accompaniment, which means we need to be really, really rhythmically precise with our timing here. No rubato whatsoever. Use your metronome to help you put that together in your practice. Um, lots of vibrato on every note, especially the accented notes, to showcase those and make a bowing plan. We really need to know where we're going to be in the bow for every part of this, especially these 16th note parts. I'm trying not to get too far away from the frog right there. So I can make that as clear as possible. And then the next one is a little more complicated because we have that quick shift up to the F sharp. So really be strategic with your use of the bow. Um, in order to, to bring those out nice and clearly. There's a lot of dynamic and articulation detail in this, as you can see, typical of Sibelius. So really try to pay attention to those. Bring out your tenutos nice and clearly. Go back. Accent. So make a plan, don't wing it. Um, and then your shifts must be fast and smooth in order to get through this passage with it sounding sustained rather than chopped up. Okay, and then we get to the 16th note passage, which begins in measure 15. And this is just too awkward and too fast to wing it. We really need a clear fingering and shifting plan right here. So go through carefully and plan out what you're going to do with your fingerings, your string crossings, and your shifting to new positions. I think there's a, an inchworm extension technique that will help us a lot through this. I'm going to try to show you some of those. I'm starting in 15. One back there. There's another inchworm right there. extensions to help you avoid having to shift too much around the fingerboard okay again it's going to be too fast at quarter note equals 120 uh, to get all that done and then there are three main kind of uh, rhythmic ways that I would practice a passage like this that I want to share with you the first one is what I call bowing variations so we're going to change um, the rhythm to a short long short long um, pattern which would be like this um, <laughs> And then the opposite, we're going to invert it. We're going to do long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay, all at a steady tempo, okay. Um, the second one is what I call fake accents. We're going to say, take each group of four and maybe put an accent randomly on the third note of each group. So... to shift the, the concept. Um, maybe then change it to the second note. Right, etc, etc. And the third way is to chunk it up, to take small chunks and then expand it out. So I'll start by doing five notes at a time and then repeat the fifth note when you start the next group. So this would be like this. faster tempo if you can build it up there. Then expand it to uh, nine notes. 
Box four, I think, is probably the hardest part of this 16th note passage and is going to need some extra attention just because we're moving up a little further out of first position. So slowly figure out your fingerings. That's an F sharp, by the way, at the top there. I sometimes hear an F natural. Quick shift. Quick shifts forwards and back, but with agility and smoothness. Don't make it bumpy. When you're practicing this slowly, you must make sure your shifts are in the tempo that you eventually want to be able to play this excerpt. Okay, so slow practice, yes, but fast shifts. All right, I think that's all of the hot spots that we need to touch on. I'm now going to show you the uh, excerpt in a practice tempo of 72 beats per minute. Then I'm going to speed it up to 96 beats per minute to make it more challenging. And then try and play along with me at 120 beats per minute, which is around about where we want to get to for our final rendition. Good luck with it, and thanks for watching. Thank you. 